Welcome back to Shuminator. Okay, before we get the video started, I know this video was supposed to be the interview with the homeless guy um, because I had some donators to the Patreon and I said I'd take all that money that was donated to the Patreon and give it to someone locally and interview them. And I did do that. Uh, here's a picture of me with Diego. He's a really cool guy, really awesome. The interview went really well. However, during the interview, my camera died and the footage got deleted. And uh, I don't think he wants to do the interview again, but I'll still be sending all the proceeds to him. So if you guys want to help Diego out and his dog, he's a cool dog. Patreon is in the description of this video. All the money will be given to him. Okay, enjoy the video. Have a good day. Also, we will do another one soon, but I'm going to try to find someone that speaks English because the communication is also a lot easier whenever they will speak English for you guys and for me. Okay, cool story okay wait um we're telling childhood stories about what it was like to have crushes as a, like as and how crazy you would act when you liked someone yeah okay talk about your first crush story okay, my first crush was third grade shout out blake <laughs> Shut up, like. Every girl liked this boy. Like I'm not kidding. Like every girl chased him on the playground. Like recess bell hit. Every girl was, "Where's Blake? Where's Blake? Where'd he go? Oh, yeah. He's like running fast again." <laughs> so I was like, "You know, what? I need to do something unique that's gonna stand out for this man." So he's by, he's by the playground playing. I just start grabbing like balls of grass, and I'm just like eating it, but like staring at him while like. Eat quickly. <laughs> like, I'm literally like looking at this boy in the eyes. I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know you want me. I got his, I got his attention. Not in the right way. He literally like never talked to me again. Oh my like, god. Completely stayed clear. Okay. All right, this is my crush story. So there was this guy. And I was like six, by the way, so you can't judge. And I, I, I had a crush on this guy, and he broke his arm. And I was like, yo, instead of like going up to him and talk to him, I was like, if I break my arm, he'll come up oh to me. God. He'll come up to me, and he'll be like, yo. Like both of our arms are broken. So he like, like we can relay and he will want me. Oh and so I tried so hard to like break my arm. Never worked. <laughs> you like try to like jump on it and stuff? But I like used to walk it like run into walls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Tyler Walker. Hey. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he's got like a like a, a a baby mama. Oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> My name's Lily, and you're watching Disney Channel. Um, Twelve grapes. Every wish you eat. Uh, new wish. You're watching Disney Channel. And um, so, funny story. Ugo got this fortune last night. <laughs> it says, "You shall travel far by bus and get really annoyed with your fellow passengers." It's already done. <laughs> I know he's already got the headphones in. He's he, five minutes ago. Yeah, he's already over it. Um, everyone else bailed because they went out last night and got too crazy. So it's just us today. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Yeah. And Ugo probably will be annoyed because we, he's the only guy and we will be bothering him. So, fortunes really do predict the future. Okay, see you guys soon. Bye. Welcome back. Here we are. There's, okay. Get the clamp, get in the back room. You see that? See that little point right in there in the sky? That's the highest point in Madrid, and that's where we're going. So, really? Yep. Oh, it looks like a mountain. That's a mountain, man. Okay, so update. Ugo lied to us <laughs> and said that this is the highest mountain in Madrid, and it's not because there's no buses to the highest mountain in Madrid. Um, so we're going to a pussy mountain now. How does David Attenborough sound? This surely is one. This surely. <laughs> Close up. The prunes are truly exquisite. A gauzy comb. <laughs> of course, by the 18th century, naturalists realized that birds of paradise did have legs. Even so. Welcome back, guys, to 
the nature documentary. As you can see, one of God's most precious creatures, the cow. Cow comes from the Latin word calvarius, which means right here you on the left you can see birdie. Birdie's a special <laughs> cur. See that cow coming up from me? That? That's Brody's wife. They're having a fight right now. In fact, they are my favorite food. If you're learning English, and I don't know why you'd be watching this if you're learning English, but <laughs> they are spelled C O W, not C A U. C O W. Cow. Now everyone say it together. Like first word. Cow. Cow. You wanna know what it is in Dutch? What is it? Koo. <laughs> hey guys, we're at an abandoned building. Look. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> okay, right. we're done. <laughs> Oh, shout out Jake. Thank you for teaching me how to pop people's bags. Shout out Jake. When you power the way you shout out loud, it makes me want to. Ugo's getting a hard on right now. <laughs> I gotta adjust the the lighting. Okay, go. Hey guys, welcome back. Just an update about the cows. It's spelled C O W, or not C O. No, C A U. Who the fuck spells it like that? <laughs> no. Exactly. Q. Yeah, Q. Q. Uh. I got a few things to say to you guys. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for listening and welcome back to my YouTube channel. What's the Birdie situation? Wait, um, I gotta adjust the lighting. Okay. So, Birdie situation. When we were up in the mountains connecting with nature, Birdie decided to connect back with his wife. And it was it was kind of like rough at at first. They were like, moo! And then everybody was like, Whoa! Moo! <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, she, so basically she silenced him. And then they were like, okay, yeah, let's make love, no war. Just you know, like Bob Marley. Check out the film. And, <laughs> and, now, and now they're together. Look. That ain't birdie, bro. Don't oh, be lying. Oh, Damn. You never know. Anyways, so this is the life story is if you have a woman, 
Connect with her in nature. Thanks. Nice. Connect with the woman in nature. Call her a cow. How do you? <laughs> 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 <laughs>